everyone! I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to share some of the products that I've been enjoying for the month of May. I'm gonna try to keep this short because I'm already like dying. It is so hot in here and our AC decided to poop out on us over the weekend and we're still waiting on the maintenance people to come and fix it which I hope is today because it's been a rough couple days and I feel bad for the cats. You could tell like they're just they're very like they're always sleeping, they're not moving around very much because it is so hot and for them like they're walking around with like a fur coat pretty much all day. And so I feel really bad. I've had the fan on non-stop except for now I had to turn it off just to film this video. I didn't want it like whirring in the background because that might be a little bit annoying. But I really hope they fix it right now in the house. It's around like 80 degrees which some of you are like, that's not that hot Danielle. But to me 80 degrees in the house is really hot. Outside it's fine, you're out, there's air flow and whatnot. Inside the house, it's gotten like kind of muggy feeling because it's like because it's recycled air and I don't know. I just don't like it and it's too hot to like open the windows and let like cold air in. That's not gonna happen because it's pretty hot today too. But yeah, I just hope it gets fixed really soon. First world problems. I know. Like, what would I do without air conditioner? But anyway, on to my favorites. Enough ranting about the heat and lack of AC. Um, I do have a few favorites to share with you, and I guess I'll start with makeup. I have a few um, cheek products that I've really been liking this month. The first one is from Becca. This is the Mineral Blush, and um, this is in the shade Wild Honey. And I really like this a lot because it's kind of like a blush and bronzer in one for me. I'm quite fair, um, and you. Can see this color is a little bit um, darker but it goes on really smoothly which I like and like I said I use it as kind of like a bronzer slash blush so I put it um, in areas where I just want to add a little bit of warmth but it also has enough of that like peachiness to kind of act as a blush as well so I do really like this I have this on today on my cheeks a little bit on my nose forehead chin pretty much all over my face just to give me a little bit of like a warmer glow and then some other blushes I've been liking this month are from ColourPop. ColourPop, I think, just in general, like, I've really been enjoying this month. It's new to me. I've done a couple of hauls, if you guys want to check those out. But, yeah, anyway, I've been really liking their blushes a lot. And this one is in Between the Sheets. And this one's great for, like, every day. I think it's a really nice kind of softer blush, but you can definitely build it up. And the texture of these, obviously, is a lot of fun. Um, but the one I'm wearing today and the one that I've really been enjoying is this one. This is from their summer collection, I believe. This is Get Laid. And it's definitely a lot brighter in person than it's showing up on camera. It definitely has more of, like, an oranginess to it um, with, like, a hint of coral. I have this on my cheeks right now, and I just really, really like this it's a nice like punchy color you know it just adds a lot of like oomph to your cheeks very nice and summery um I've actually been enjoying using like just a natural bristled brush with this. I know everybody says synthetic duo fiber is like their favorite or use your fingers. I personally don't like applying blush with my fingers. I was kind of iffy about using a brush like this because I thought maybe it's not going to work because let me show you. When I first dipped my brush in here like I kind of like tap it in there pretty pretty hard too and you can see it looks like there's like absolutely nothing on the brush and I was like there's nothing on this and I applied it anyway and I got like such an intense color from this so I really liked applying it with this so I guess that was a favorite um this is from Sedona Lace this is the FB03 brush also for ColourPop um, just in general, I've really been enjoying their lippy sticks. All of the ones that I got in my second haul, I have really, really liked. So I'm glad I gave them another chance because the first ones that I got, I didn't really like the colors. They didn't look good on me. Um, but all the colors that I got in my last haul, I really have been enjoying. And right now I am wearing... Topanga, which is also from their summer collection, so another favorite. For my nails, um, I talked about this in a haul, I think, how I had my nails done um, and I used this color and I fell in love with it, so I had to go to Ulta and buy it, and this has been a favorite this month. I just had this on my nails a couple days ago. I recently just took it off. Um, I did post a uh, picture on Instagram. I'll try to insert um, that picture if I remember to do so, but if not, check out my Instagram. But I used this and then I added some gold um, snap tats to my nails as well and I have a tutorial on using those like flash tattoos if you don't feel like wearing them on your skin maybe they're too flashy for you or whatnot try them on your nails um, I'll link that video also if you guys want to see how to do that but yeah I used some snap tats with this and I love the color combination I just love this color in general and I think this is going to be a favorite throughout the whole summer um, also what I have on my nails right now is the Orly BB cream and this is it's, it says makeup for your nails um, and I 
have really been liking this is just like an everyday polish if I don't know what to put on or I don't want to go like bare nails like this is nice because it still has that natural look like you could you can't really tell that there's anything really on my nails it has kind of like a satiny finish so it's not like super shiny but it's not matte either it has a really really slight peachy um, tint to it and I have two coats of it on my nails right now and still it looks very very natural it dries really quickly so if you're kind of like looking for something to put on your nails to make them look a little bit more polished um, but you don't have a lot of time and you don't really want color definitely check this out um, I really like it it's supposed to have like other benefits for your nails I can't really attest to that I just know that I like the way it looks on my nails I like the way it applies um, so it's a favorite this month so as far as skincare, I had a little bit of a rough patch, literally, like on my cheeks. I don't know um, if anybody else um, goes through this. Let me know if this is something that you kind of have to deal with when the seasons change. But when the seasons change for me, my skin like kind of freaks out a little bit and it gets dry. I'm naturally pretty oily. Um, I have oily combination skin, so my cheeks and my t-zone get pretty oily, but the rest of my face is kind of normal, I guess. Um, but when the seasons change my skin gets really dry so like my cheeks got really dry um and like rough feeling like they felt thick and rough and i exfoliate all the time and i knew that i needed to really take care of it i don't know if it was like allergies or whatnot but it just got really dry and this really helped this was from um i got this in a fab fit fun box actually i got i got this in the most recent fab fit fun box um, but this i got i think in the box before that and this is from Dermalogica. This is the Skin Hydrating Booster. And like I said, I have oily combination skin, so I don't have a lot of like products for dry skin. So when my, my face started to get really dry, um, I'm glad I had this because it's like um, it's like this gel, I guess. I don't know. Like I don't know if you guys could see. It's just like really liquidy, clear, um, and this has like hyaluronic acid in it, I think. I really like this because after I washed my face and I toned it, I put some of this on the really dry areas. Actually, I just put it all over my face. Um, and I let that soak in and then I put my moisturizer on top of that. And I felt like this really helped kind of boost the moisturization or the moisturizing properties of my moisturizer um, just a little bit, um, especially during that time period when my skin was really dry. So I didn't have to change out any of the products I was using already. I just added this and this was like a nice kind of hydrating boost. So I really like that and that really helped within like a few days um, the dry patches really um, started getting better Woo! I am getting so hot. I'm like sweating and it's funny because when I was doing my makeup I was using a Concealer that's in a pot and I opened it up and it was like sweating too and I'm like I know it's not just me my makeup feels it too So I really hope my AC gets fixed today, but this is kind of like a random like lifestyle favorite I guess not really I don't even know like a household favorite mm. I don't know um I don't like hand washing my clothes I mean I think it's a pain I don't know anyone who really says I love to hand wash my clothes and when I get a garment that says hand wash only I'm like oh great it usually sits at the bottom of my hamper until I can get like a pile of things that need to be hand washed and I'll do it all at once um yeah this is awesome this is from soak and I actually bought this bottle last year or two years ago I don't even know but it's been a while because this scent they actually don't offer this scent anymore this is the Aqu Aqua scent I don't know but they have a, f a bunch of other ones too um, but this particular scent they don't have anymore but anyway this is great if you don't like hand washing your clothes if you have delicates that can't be thrown into the washing machine like I know this is great for like people who knit or crochet like those kind of delicate items that you don't want to just like Again, throw in the washing machine, probably get it ruined. You kind of want to hand wash them or treat them gently. Um, great for like delicate like underwear and stuff like that, lacy things, just things you have to hand wash. Um, this works in the regular washing machine too. I tried it recently, worked just fine. Um, but yeah, basically how you use this is you fill up your sink or your tub or, or a tub of water pretty much um, with water. And then you put like a cap full of this or like I think they said like a teaspoon. Yeah, it says pour one teaspoon into cool water, soak item for 15 minutes, then gently squeeze out water. No need to rinse. So I was like so excited. I actually got this from Birchbox. Um, like I said, a couple years ago I had some points. So I decided to try this out because it sounded really intriguing to me. 
Recently I put away a lot of our winter clothing and that includes like my big chunky sweaters which I don't want to throw in the washing machine to get it like all mangled. I've done that before and they get really pilly, you know. Um, so I like to hand wash them but especially when it's like a sweater, it's like big and bulky and when it gets wet it gets even heavier and I don't like, ugh, it's like such an effort to like scrub and wash and whatnot. So this has been a lifesaver because I just fill up the sink with a little bit of water and a little bit of the soak and then leave the sweaters for like 15 minutes wring them out lay them flat to dry because they are heavier with shirts I don't mind like hanging them up to dry um, but yeah so once they were dry and clean I was able to put them away and yeah it really saved me a lot of time and energy um, and they actually have like little bottles too these little guys were actually sent to me by soak so big thank you to soak for sending these to me because um, these are gonna be perfect for traveling like I said um, these would be great if you take them like on vacation with you say you have like swimsuits you need to wash I always try to wash them right away usually I do it in the shower with like hotel soap uh, and then just like lather it up and rinse it out I don't know it's just it's still a pain so I think this would be great because I could fill the hotel like sink up with water um, and then put a cap full of this in there soak my bathing suits and stuff and then just hang them up to dry so I think that would be great this one is actually scentless so if you guys are more sensitive um, to fragrances or you don't like having like scents in your detergent check out the scentless one um, and then this one is the fig scent which I have actually really been enjoying because it's fruity but still really fresh it's not very sweet and it has like an earthiness to it and this is really great um, I actually used this recently on a shirt that I was wearing because I was eat we went out to eat and I came home and I noticed I had like um, spaghetti stain on my shirt and those are like such a pain to get out if you could even get them out so I was like I need to wash this right away but I was not about to do a whole load of laundry just to wash that one shirt so I was like okay sprayed it with spot remover and then I filled up the sink with water and then I put like a teaspoon of um, the soak in there let it soak I didn't scrub it or anything um, took it out wrung it out to dry and the stain was gone so that was really a big plus and it was clean and I could hang it up and I didn't have to wash like a whole load of laundry and I didn't have to like sit there and scrub it either so really happy with this so accessories um, you guys might have noticed I've been wearing this necklace a lot in a lot of my recent videos I've just been obsessed with it I really like it a lot and these earrings um, they're both from my recent rocks box and with rocks box you can exchange the box as many times as you want and that last box I actually held on to it for like a good two or three weeks and I realized maybe that's because I really really liked the pieces in it so um, I felt like I needed to have a couple of the pieces um, forever which was this necklace this is from Perry Street and this is their Whitney necklace and I love this I have a lot of like statement necklaces from like different brands I have a couple from Bobble Bar that I really like too but for some reason the weight of this I really like like it really feels like nice quality because it is a little bit like um, of a heavier piece it's not like heavy like I feel like I'm like gonna top over or anything like that but it definitely feels like really well made um, and I just love the way that it looks the stones are like a really really pale blue they look almost white it just really looks nice I think um, goes with a lot of things every time I wear it I get compliments on it so I love it and then these earrings like they're so simple these are from Goriana I, I think I pronounced it Georgiana in my last video because I had no idea how it was pronounced but I think it's pronounced Goriana and these are the large disc earrings and at first I was like, I don't know if I want to keep these, they look really simple, but I, I like those kinds of pieces, like really simple everyday pieces, and I was like, maybe I can find a couple like dupes on Etsy for like cheaper, because these um, normally are I think $40, they're $45, the necklace retails for $68, um, but the rocks box price is $54, so um, to get a good discount on that, and then the earrings are not normally $45, and then they were um, $36 as the like insider price and I looked on Etsy to see if I could find some so I searched like hammered um, gold disc earrings and all of them were like a lot more expensive because I know there a lot of the pieces on there are handmade and they're probably like made of like real gold or something so I was like you know what I really like the look of these I'm just gonna buy them there's a discount and then every month they give you like ten dollars to spend too so I was like okay I'm gonna do it um, and I have really been enjoying I've been wearing these earrings like all the time so those are kind of my favorites for this month yeah let me know what some of the things that you've been enjoying are but thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys later bye